Welcome back everybody, it's JD, and we're doing Seven Days Die Darkness Fall version 402 Dev Build 6 for uh, Seven Days Die Alpha 20. Uh, and this is going to be an attempt, attempt at the Glock 5x5 five five challenge, Darkness Fall style. We are on day 168. We are on uh, insane difficulty. Our game stage is something ridiculous. Uh, 1251. We maxed out our level. Uh, I th this w on Warrior this was like 600. Uh, I guess when you jump up the uh, difficulty, your game stage goes up. Anyway, we're just gonna go with it. Um, this is a version of the uh, tower, wizard's tower type thing that I did uh, for the original Glock 5, 4, 5x5 challenge. Um, it is 5x5. We'll go underneath and we will see that it is 5x5. Nothing poking out anywhere. Um, basically, the only thing in here is... Uh, two titanium electric fences and your access there um, they go up to these two titanium fences up here we have uh, five titanium dart traps um, on pressure plates they won't last long I'm pretty sure I have a couple turrets here uh, controlled by a switch in there so if I need to clear out what's here so I can reload or something I can just flip the switch and in theory, it will clear everything out. I have a couple hatches that I can close to give myself some more time to repair stuff or something. That was loud. Um, inside, uh, these are my turret controls. That's my electric fence control there. So if I need to go out and try to repair something, they break the path or something, I can at least turn off the electric fences. To turn off the dart traps, I would probably just have to turn off the whole Jenny or uh, since I can reach them from in here I could uh, unlock the ammo I have some spare stuff and you see my toolbar and stuff I have or in my backpack I have spare ammo I don't think I'm gonna be around to use any of it lots of healing um, these are the paramedic ones that do 60 I have a laser sword a coil shotgun a laser shotgun, a laser M60, and a laser carbine, and a rocket launcher that I have 20 rounds of uh, pulse and 40 rounds of frag. Um, I have some molotov, some other explosive stuff, healing stuff, your general stuff to repair. I don't think I'll be <laughs> going to do much repairing. I probably will die uh, miserable. Uh, or no, actually, it won't be a miserable death. It'll be a valiant, Klingon, glorious death. I'm sh pretty sure. Um, up top, I removed all the anti-aircraft because all that does is, at this game stage, we're going to get succubuses. And as soon as succubuses start uh, shot, her hit points jump unless it's a laser round. So I don't want to accidentally shoot them with a non-laser. Um, so I got a cage up here. Um, this is to give them something to occupy before they get to me down here because they will start beating crap up. Um, but it gives me an opportunity to come up here and kind of shoot them without them getting in my face. Uh, I think. I hope. Um, it's all made of titanium. Uh, which is a Darkness Falls thing. Um, and I don't think I'm going to last that long, but we're going to give it a try. Oops. And so I guess I should get inside and uh, get out of God mode and whatnot and advance the time. So uh, let's see. F1, come out of creative mode. Let's go ahead and advance time real quick. Uh, we'll get right up. 
Yeah, I'll be doing it. And then we'll just come out of debug mode. Oops. All right. We are flying by the seat of our pants now. Go turn the Ginny on. Switches on. Oh, I also have um, some shutters here. I can't fall down. But this is where I might be able to shoot the rocket through. Or I can't shoot the rocket through. I tested. Because one thing about the proxen or the the pulse rockets is you don't want to be too close. Uh, you will kill yourself because they do like 2,000 damage in a five foot radius. It used to be 10 foot, but Kane changed it. I'm also wearing powered armor. Whoa, that one didn't work well. This, this. And this, this almost started off pretty bad. Uh, let's close these doors up. Well, this is a little more exciting than I thought it would be. Turn my volume down a little bit. I can't hear myself think. Okay, whoops, let's go up here and see if we can take care of some of these vultures. Stuff reaching through the walls is kind of unnerving. I'm surprised that that many zombies can get in that one square out there. Headshot should be taking you out, motherfucker.
Wow, these uh, demonic behemoths are freaking just OP, man. They're off the hook. I gotta repair that block outside real quick. I had this feeling that they uh, broke their way up. We have some succubuses. They can't fireball me. That's one thing that Kane did change. Is that if you hit him with a laser, they can't fireball. Stops regeneration and their ability to fireball. There's one down down. I don't think we'll get more than probably six of them. Yet. And again, I could be wrong. Okay, one more. Let's get this last one, then we'll go down and see what's going on downstairs. Probably not good. Okay, let's go see what, what's happening down here. Messed that up.
I have a feeling they're tearing off the tearing up the tower. I have an idea. I don't know if it's a good one or not. And that is going up here and shooting down with uh This is probably a bad idea. Let me heal up. I'm gonna try it with a regular uh, frag first. Well, that was not good. I think I need to go put a couple blocks in. Oh crap. I'm basically immune to fire in the, uh, in the, uh, what you call it, armor. Whoa. They just have so many hit points, it's not even funny, I mean... Funny how that bird actually covered for her. Ah. Ah, come on. Oh, come on, let me put that there.
I don't care. As long as it gets something there. Oh shit. Come on! Well, I've made it. I'm surprised the base is still standing. Seriously, I am surprised the base is still standing. Uh, I don't think it's going to be standing for long. I'm starting to wonder about the hitboxes on these uh, succubuses. Another succubus, holy moly. The Screamer brought a uh, succubus. Awesome.
Well, let's see. Uh. Oh, shit. So technically, I survived. Oh shit. Holy shit, he that whatever that was knocked me for a freaking loop, man. Oh shit, I forgot. This is still broke from last time. No! Well, alrighty. Let's get our... I forgot that I hadn't repaired this from last time. Okay, well, let's uh, just fly over and see what we got. Probably been better off coming to this one. At least had a generator intact. Uh, alrighty, well, technically... Oh, there's another one. Oh, uh, Incubus and all this stuff. That is some bullshit. Oh, well. We have something for your asses. Haha. -ha. I win. Well... This is what's left of the 5x5 five five challenge, people. Uh, personally, I didn't think I was going to make it through the night. So, I uh, amazed myself. Not too hard, probably. Uh, what is amazing is the underground stuff I don't think was compromised. Nope. Still there. Uh, but they sure made a mockery of the, uh, structure. Hmm. Alrighty. I don't know if I would change anything, because I don't, I don't think there's any other way to do it. Uh, I don't think the dart traps were effective at all. In fact, they probably actually created more problems than they were worth. I think just uh, foregoing the dark traps, keeping the electric though, because that at least stuns some stuff. Oops. Well, thanks for joining me. 
Sorry about the cr ice crunching. I'm just finishing up my old fashioned <laughs> and crunching on the ice. Uh, well, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, it was a little crazy. Uh, I do believe that the same tower at that same game stage was 590 something uh, would be feasible. Uh, the problem, you know, is with Darkness Falls is that you got all those big beasties. So, uh, anyway, stop by Kane's YouTube channel, show him some love, like, subscribe. Uh, become a patron for Kane, buy him some coffee, uh, so he keeps up this great mod, and uh, uh, I'll see you next episode.